here is the Small Aperture Telescope, the first one for Simon's Observatory. And just yesterday, we inserted the dilution refrigerator, which is this guy, um, which is a special piece of cooling equipment that came from Blue Force in Finland, a wonderful company who makes really shiny toys for us to cool down. Um, and it's kind of fun to see it in this configuration because normally you don't see one of these tilted sideways like this. Um, but given we're a telescope and we point in all manner of directions, we need to be able to tilt it as well. Um, so it's been inserted into our telescope and this configuration is just while we're working on it because as you can see right now, it's fairly spartan. Uh, there's not a lot on this plate, but we'll start adding heat straps and thermometry to other components. I should also mention the whole purpose of this is to cool down our detectors, which will live here uh, sometime in the near future. So kind of looking at this particular device, um, it's actually relatively simple once you uh, kind of understand the basic properties of it. But the real business end of it is this piece right here, uh, which is called the mixing chamber. And this is where the two isotopes of helium that work in a dilution refrigerator mix. So this is where the helium-3 and the helium-4 uh, form the dilute phase and uh, effectively remove heat from this cold head. So this cold head, what I'm touching right here, once we're in operation mode, that will cool down to below 100 millikelvin. Uh, it's capable of getting down below 10 millikelvin, but when we operate it with our detectors, it'll be closer to 100 millikelvin. Um, so that's the main component, is really just this one piece here. Um, these are different stages going out. This one will be around one Kelvin. Where my finger is pointing is a, a piece called the still. Uh, the still is where the helium boils off and is transported away out of the cryostat and to the gas handling system, which recycles it. Uh, and that cools this stage down to one Kelvin. And then another device, the pulse tube cooler, cools this stage to four Kelvin and the next stage up uh, to 40 Kelvin. A lot of the difficulty in manufacturing this device is getting the, the gas cycling uh, to work out properly. So there's a whole other machine over there that cycles the helium gas out at uh, room temperature and then brings it back into this device. And so what you have is this kind of hot helium gas that's going down to the cold stages and you need to cool it down before it can actually do the proper dilution mixing uh, to cool this cold stage to below 100 millikelvin. <laughs>